Hi guys, this is Math at School again, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this square root expression from the denominator. Now, you're never supposed to have a radical or a square root in the denominator of your fraction. I won't go into detail as to why, but you're not supposed to have it in the denominator, so you need to get rid of that radical. And that process of getting rid of the square root expression or radical expression from the denominator of your fraction is also known as rationalizing the denominator. But I won't go into details as to why or the terminology and everything else. I am just going to focus on problem solving for the purpose of this video and of my channel. So. Let's get started on this question. 7 square root of 2 over square root of 5. How do you get rid of that square root of 5? Or how do you rationalize this radical? Now, I'm going to show you how. What you do is you copy down the original expression. And then you multiply this original expression with a number 1. But instead of writing 1, you write, you take that square root expression that you want to get rid of, take that into the denominator, and the new, uh, into the numerator and denominator. Now, this expression square root of 5 over square root of 5 is equal to 1. And multiplying 1 to a value will not change the value of the original value. For example, if you are multiplying 1 to original value of 100, the value stays as 100. If you multiply 1 to 1000, the value stays as 1000. The value does not change. So, multiplying 1 or square root of 5 over square root of 5 will not change the original value, but it will help you get rid of that radical sign from the denominator, denominator of this whole fraction. So, let's see what this um, ends up getting us. Now, this numerator part will be 7 square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 5, and the uh, denominator will be square root of 5 times square root of 5. That'll equal to square root of 5 squared and 7 square root of 2 times 5, which is also equal to 7 square root of 10 over 5. And that'll be our final answer. Now, in order for you to process this multiplication, you needed to know two rules of radicals. Rule number one, is that square root of a times square root of b is equal to square root of a times b. And rule number two that you needed to know in order to process the multiplication above is square root of a squared is equal to a. Because you can think of it this way. You can cancel the square root sign with the power of two. And Hence, square root of a squared ends up becoming a equal to a. So as long as you know these two rules, you could process this multiplication and end up with our final answer of 7 square root of 10 over 5. Let's just do one more to make sure that we know this for sure. Now, I have square root of 5 over 3. Now, there's another rule that I want to mention. Let's call it rule number three. Um, square root of a over b is equal to square root of a over square root of b. 
Now, keeping this rule in mind, we can turn this original value, square root of 5 over 3, into square root of 5 over square root of 3. Now, as I have already told you, you are not supposed to have a radical expression in the denominator. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that denominator and multiply by that over that radical. Again, this number is equal to 1, so multiplying 1 to the original value will not change the value of the original number, but it'll help us get rid of that radical in the denominator. So, what we end up it with is square root of 5 times 3 over square root of 3 times 3, which I can rewrite as square root of 15 over square root of 3 squared. And as I have already told you, square root of a squared is equal to a, because you can cancel the power of 2 and square root together. So I can cancel the square root sign with power of 2, and what I end up with here is square root of 15 over 3. And that'll be our final answer for this second problem of this video. Now, if you are not familiar with these rules that I have mentioned, then what you might need is my worksheets and my formula sheets that I have uploaded on my math at school at www.mathit.school I have formula sheets, worksheets, and video solutions to each and every problem that appears on my worksheets in subject areas like these. You can access those by clicking this button right here. And meanwhile, this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching and please like and consider subscribing my channel. It really helps with um, my mood and my everything. So please consider that. Meanwhile, this is it. So I'll say goodbye and I'll see you later with another video. Bye.